right, so we got the inside sanded and scuffed down real good. Still got to clean it, but we're going to go ahead and put it on the rotisserie. That way we can get to every crack and crevice and make it look good. All right, we're fixing to get inside this thing. And we're gonna polish out the roof while it's on the rotisserie. It'd be a lot easier than trying to hold the buffer upside down, so. I think that'll do it for the buffing. Time to move on. It's turned out pretty good. It's time for Jim's shop tip of the day. As long as you can shove enough stuff out of your way to get ample work room, you don't need to clean up. Okay, while I'm at this point, I'm gonna show you a couple things. How straight this panel comes out, or any panel, really depends on your blocking technique. There's more to it than just going over the panel. Let me show you this. Take my guide coat, put it on here so we can see what's happening. When you put on guide coat, you want to rub it in real good if you just go over the surface. 
it comes off too easy, you won't see the highs and lows. All right. So I have a paint paddle here with some 320 grit sandpaper wrapped around it. So when you sand, the way you sand gives you the results you want. So you have control over what you're doing. If I put this up here and I just put pressure right in the middle, that's the only place the sanding is right in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, I think you can. So when you see me up here and I got one hand on it, I've got pressure evenly across the whole panel, the whole stick, so that I get an even block. Sometimes you'll see me do the two-hand method, which spreads it out even further. So you're in control of the results you get. I think that's going to do it for this episode. We went around and blocked the uh, the cab again. We got it in 320, stick blocked with 320. So the next step is to go around and soft block it with 400. Uh, we're going to cut it with 400 and get all the block marks out. And then it should be time to tape it up and paint it. So hopefully uh, it won't take us too long to get to that point. Uh, I may throw in a little clip at the end here. Something else I painted just for the heck of it. And uh, we'll catch you next time.